The Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket, developed by SpaceX, are a fully reusable transportation system that can transport crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and other planets. With a carrying capacity of up to 250 metric tons of expendable weight and 150 metric tons of fully reusable weight, Starship will be the most powerful launch spacecraft ever created. The 400-foot-tall stainless steel tower significantly reduces NASA's Space Launch System rocket. To compare with Musk's spacecraft, place around five billboards on top of the latter. According to SpaceX, its rocket has roughly twice as much thrust. The rocket is made of stainless steel, a material Musk is particularly fond of due to its relatively low price. This enormous starship is powered by 10 million pounds of liquid methane and oxygen, unlike NASA's massive moon rocket, which requires super-chilled liquid hydrogen and oxygen to fly. The primary objective of Starship is to develop a fully reusable launch and landing system for missions to the Moon, Mars, and other planets. Because it would make spaceflight more accessible to the familiar person, its reusability is the holy grail of space, according to Elon Musk, who made this statement at a corporate event in South Texas last February. It's a tough thing to do, he said. It's only barely possible with the physics of Earth. SpaceX is close to launching Starship, although the company has not formally announced a date. The company built the giant rocket early in January at its launch site on the Texas Gulf Coast before fueling it for a so-called wet dress rehearsal. An essential evaluation for any new rocket, according to SpaceX, was successful. According to recent updates from SpaceX on Twitter, the crew then stated it would analyze Starship for a test fire of the rocket booster's 33 Raptor engines. Slips are always possible because it's a brand new system. But they have been quite impressed with what they have done with other systems. The Federal Aviation Administration must license the launch for Starship to ignite, but that won't happen until SpaceX meets all licensing, safety, and other regulatory requirements according to an agency statement provided to Mushable in January when an investigative source asked about the situation. The spokesperson said the investigation is still ongoing. If all goes according to plan, SpaceX will launch the biggest rocket soon. The Starship rocket, which measures almost 400 feet tall, is intended to transport NASA humans to the moon. However, Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has even greater ambitions for the company, wanting to use it to settle on Mars with people. The human spaceflight capabilities of Starship are currently receiving a lot of concern. But the rocket may also fundamentally alter our understanding of the planets and moons that are close by. Ali Bramson, a planetary scientist at Purdue University, argues that a Starship would change how we can do solar system exploration the study of planets will simply explode. Scientists are discussing the possibility of sending missions to explore Neptune and its largest moon in the outer solar system. They also consider retrieving space rock from Earth's moon and Mars. Additionally, they are developing innovative methods to protect Earth from the potential threat of asteroids if these projects could improve our ability to safeguard our planet from cosmic dangers. Starship built at a Texas site dubbed Starbase, consists of a giant spaceship on top of a large booster. Both can land back on Earth to be reused, reducing costs. The entire vehicle can lift 100 metric tons of cargo and people into space on regular low-cost missions. Starship is, like, wow, says James Head, a planetary scientist from Brown University. Musk spoke about the project's scientific potential in mid-November during a publicly accessible online meeting about Starship organized by the U.S. National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. He stated that we must work hard to evolve into a multi-planet species as soon as possible. Then, according to Musk, the Starship could take off with a lot of scientific instrumentation, far more than is currently possible. The fact that Starship is made to be massive and inexpensive to launch is at the core of many of these designs. 
With launch costs in the tens or hundreds of millions of dollars, organizations like NASA and ESA must carefully select a small number of missions to support. However, Starship's affordability may allow for many more. Andrew Westfall, a lecturer in physics at the University of California, Berkeley stated, the low cost of access has the potential to change the game for science research, with flights perhaps costing as little as $2 million for each launch. A spacecraft called Arcanum, designed by the Conex, Conceptual Exploration Research, worldwide collaboration of scientists, would utilize Starship's heavy lifting capabilities to investigate Neptune and its largest moon, Triton. But unfortunately, we still don't know about Neptune, even though NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft only flew by it once in 1989. As a result, no one is genuinely considering what Starship might be able to do, according to James McKevitt, a researcher at the University of Vienna and the co-founder of Conex. That's what Arcanum is made to show off, said the man. The spacecraft would be four times heavier, weighing approximately 21 metric tons, than the most serious deep space probe to date, the NASA and Asa Cassini Hygiens mission, which studied Saturn from 2004 to 2017. NASA has suggested that a proposed super telescope called Lovewa, designed to image Earth-like planets around other stars, could launch on Starship. At the same time, Musk has said SpaceX is already working on an interesting project, which is to have a massive telescope, taking a lens intended for a ground-based telescope and creating a space-based telescope with it. Some scientists plan on using Starship to get ready for space travel. According to René Heller and colleagues from the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research in Germany, Starship may provide a low-cost means of testing technology for a spaceship that may travel many light years to nearby star systems. To demonstrate outside Earth's orbit, Starship might launch a sail-powered spaceship on a mission to Mars. This spacecraft would use an onboard laser to push against a thin sail and travel at extraordinary speeds. We should be able to track SpaceX acceleration and path across the solar system for a few days and nearly to the orbit of Jupiter if they could spare one of our sails on board and simply release it halfway on its journey to Mars, claims Heller. Musk also intends to use Starship to explore other planets. According to the SpaceX website, most international long-distance trips would be completed in 30 minutes or less with Starship and Super Heavy. Methane, the primary component of Starship fuel, has a considerably greater global warming potential than carbon dioxide if it isn't burned off first. In 2021, NASA gave SpaceX a $3 billion contract to create a commercial launch vehicle that could send people into space. NASA anticipates using the rocket on two future Artemis moon missions. SpaceX has launched partial prototypes of Starship to practice landing, and several exploded or crashed. However, one succeeded in returning unscathed in May 2021 after flying about six miles up in the sky. Many of the Starship incomplete prototypes that SpaceX has launched to conduct landing practice have crashed or exploded. However, one did manage to land safely after ascending roughly six miles in May 2021. There are many risks associated with this first launch, so I would not say it will likely succeed. With missions to the Moon and Mars on the horizon and plenty of research potential, Musk has speculated that SpaceX could fly as many as a dozen test flights of the Starship in 2022. Once Starship starts flying, the development will be speedy, predicts Marbarita Marinova, a former senior Mars development engineer at SpaceX. We would love your thoughts on the biggest SpaceX Starship rocket. Tell us in the comments section.